Welcome, H and S baby, hot and spicy. Now, <clears throat> scared myself a bit in this one. Um, I'm using a a curry, um, which Chris seen in Tesco. Many thanks, to Chris again. Um, the hungry elephant. <laughs> and, uh, it says hot on it. But it's one you make yourself, so they provide a pouch with a marinade and pouch of the curry sauce. And it's meant to be hot, but it's not hot. Um, so, this is what I've done. Um, added my, this is a beef curry, so beef in the pan, olive oil, beef, fry it off. I've chopped one scotch bonnet, which I had left. Um, I've added that to the, to the pan. I've also added... Uh, some de bomb sauce that's very very hot sauce you only need a spot of that but um i've added a good bit to that really too much stirred it and then you let it simmer let it cook and um this is the result now again i've been coughing mrs h has been coughing <laughs> So I don't know how hot this is going to be. Oh, and I'm trying a new bread from Tesco. It's their cheese and tomato flatbread. Mmm. Not sure I've had that before. Using their pint new glass. Oh. Ice cold as well. Oh, that's lovely. Anyway, how are you doing? How's the week gone? How's what are you have in the in? You're out, shaking it all about. Do and I got a couple of um these <clears throat> onion bargies. I've heated them up. Let's try this curry. Let's try this curry. Here we go. Beef. And plenty of it. Mm. Lovely beef. Wow, that's hot. And wow, that's nice. Also, not done any rice. Oh, that is hot. Oh. Mm, nice. Fresh chilli. Then you got that p just pure heat of the de bomb sauce. Oh, that is hot stuff. That. Wow. Mind you, that's lovely, though. The beef. I only ma normally I'd marinate something overnight, but um, the reason for that is I forgot. I was kicking myself. <laughs> so it's been marinating for about four hours, just in a bowl, you know, just, and then uh, as I say, cook it from room temperature, in, and then uh, nice and slow. Well, fast to start, and then once it's Go in, just bring it down to a simmer then. Mm. Beautiful tasting curry. Um, as I say, it's not a hot curry, as they say it is. Well, I think if you enjoy heat, it's not hot. But that is a... Mm. A very fumey curry, what I call it. As I said, cooking it, coughing because of the chilli fumes. Um, but uh, 
it's a very what I class as a fumy cutty, and that's the reason for that is the, the bomb, I think. It's a good bite to that. I did think I'd overdone it a bit, but uh, it's quite a you taste the beef, taste the curry, and then it heats there, doesn't build, it comes in, and it's there now. And then it'll just ease off, but if you add to it, it adds to the heat. Mm. Beef is nice for a change. We've had some funny weather, I tell you. Is that funny? It's not made me laugh. We've had the <laughs> rain. Um, and you can tell now, sort of autumn into winter, it's got that dampness, but that cold feeling in, in it, where you class to the bone, you know, that type of... Um, <clears throat> and this morning, we had our first spot of snow, which they promised, on high ground. Now, we're not necessarily on high ground here, but the likes of the Cluidian Hills, probably Snowdonia will have snow on the tops. But it did snow, but it didn't stick. Well, that's hot. Nose now. Excuse me. That's because it's a fumey. This sauce will be a killer. Quite an oily um, curry, but that's probably due to the um, olive oil I had, but not too much. Didn't add too much. That's a lovely heat, that. Just right, actually. I thought I'd overdone it with that, the bomb, because I don't know if you've tried it yourselves. But you just need a spot. It it says on insane or something insanely hot, and all warnings with it. But um, as you could see, probably in the clip I shown, didn't look a lot as sauces go. But for that sauce, that was a lot, and I can tell it's there. Remembrance Sunday tomorrow. Yeah, we will remember them. I most likely watch the London one. Service. With the Cenotaph. And I actually said in my shave... Um, <clears throat> it's the 11th of the 11th, so it's not actually, it's the 10th tomorrow. It's the 11th on Monday, but what I meant was, I'm doing the shave, you know, with um, the 11th of the 11th in mind, the Remembrance. Well, it is Remembrance Sunday tomorrow, but with the um, remind of the, uh, of the date. That's quite nice, that. I've had some new glasses. I don't mean these. I've had a Stella, Stella Artois glass, a Carlsberg. I got another one up there. Um, Carlsberg. That's two Carlsbergs. I got another two ones of San Miguel. Uh, few things and the reason I got them is you can buy you know like a Christmas pack the beer comes with a glass so I've done that <sighs> nice to have different glasses different beers even though I drink a lot of Carling but non Trent how are you doing my old mate there's a fella down there watches <sighs> he's from Burton on Trent you can probably smell the old Carlin brewing down there, can you? <laughs> mm. 
Mm. Wow. That is hot. But it's tasty hot. It's not insufferable. That beautiful. And the beef. Mm. I bought the beef, ready diced, but it was in huge chunks, so I've halved them. I don't know if you can tell, they're still a fair size, you know, they fill a spoon up. These are a nice change, the old onion barges. Hmm. So it's gone cooler now, yeah, colder. Be time for an autumn walk soon, autumn winter. I was only looking the other day at my coat. I thought I haven't worn that since last winter, but it doesn't seem that long ago. And then again, the time's going, isn't it? So it's how time, quick time goes, wow. Mm. So this curry is not in the fridge, it's in a paper container and it's in the, um, well in my Tesco, it's where the poppadoms and the curry sauces are in jars along there. There's different versions, this is the hottest one, gun, the um, What's it called? The gunpowder chili uh, garlic. Gunpowder chili garlic. Um, the, the elephant company's I mean, Yeah. I'm not sure if it's classed as a curry actually. Like a sort, of, but it is like a sauce and marinade. Very tasty. But you do your own. And fair play, they say on it, add your chilies to make it hot, add yoghurt to make it cool. But, um, not hot. On its own. But once you start adding chilies and that silly sauce, whew. Wow. I'll show you. Oh, that's beautiful. Um, <coughs> nice note off somebody. Many thanks, Mr. Mully. If you're watching, you're very kind to send me a couple of these shots. I've had a, a while ago off another YouTuber from Denby, funny enough, does camping and walking. Dave. He sent me a little sort of um, odds and ends. And there's a bottle similar to this in that. I think he had it out of an army ration pack. So I don't know if it's the same stuff or if this is different. You found it in the supermarket, you said, didn't you, for 50p or something. So many thanks. I'll try these. I got some chicken thighs, just standard. And I'll try them on there. Because I want to try um, the Encona sauces. Somebody asked about the, the Carolina Reaper Encona sauce and the um, extra hot one, the as if something West Indian extra hot. Some say the West Indian extra hot is hotter than the Carolina Reaper. Now, I. Oh, she's telling you she thinks Carolina Reaper's hotter. Finished.
yeah, some say that Carolina Reaper's hotter, some say the the other one's hotter. So what I want to do is test the two sauces on some chicken thighs standard. And while I'm doing that, I'll try them on this. I might do that tomorrow night. Um, whether I film it, I think there might be another hot and spicy tomorrow. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> I don't overdo it. I know you've got lives to live. Well, you don't have to watch it tomorrow, do you? you can... We'll see how it goes, anyway. Uh, ooh, beautiful, look at that. Really... Give me the burn, baby. Mm. Wow, that is just right. Beautiful. Taste of the beef's gorgeous. The curry sauce. Mmm, lovely. Along with the marinade. And then I'm getting the taste of that scotch bonnet with the heat. And as I say, that um, sort of a fumy, fiery heat from the, the bomb. Overdo that and it'll ruin it. And I was a bit afraid I'd over overdone it, but that is just right for me, personally. But um, that sauce isn't for the faint-hearted, I tell you. The sauce is always hotter. So here we go. Hoping to, oh, <laughs> hoping, <laughs> God, blimey, molten lather, 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 hoping to do the grass one more time before, well, I was going to say before winter comes, I'm not sure if it'll be dry enough now, it's what, you know, when it goes damp and that, so maybe do another cut and that's it, but. Otherwise, that is it for the year, I think, till spring. I tell you what, mind you, eating too many things. Hmm, I meant to tell you, pheasant tomorrow. I've uh, had the first brace given to me from a uh, well, from a shoot, and uh, offered me a brace. So I said, yeah, lovely, thanks. But they're not dressed. Um, and <clears throat> to those, I don't know what that means. They're not ready, they're, as they are. So I'll have to, well, no, I have done them, but I've done, um, I've deep breasted one, and that's for tomorrow's Sunday dinner. I was gonna do a plum sauce I can do a lovely plums. It's like a breast of pheasant, nicely done, and you cut it at a slant into pieces, and you serve it with this beautiful plum sauce, um, and the sort of taste from the gamey pheasant matches the sweetness of the plum sauce, and it's beautiful. But after all that, wow, that's hot now. I'm going to. Um, I'm doing roast potatoes, um, broccoli, is it broccoli, carrots, and lashentos of gravy, but, um, wow, what the hell, maybe I've overdone it on the, the bomb, um, yeah, and gravy on, on the, on the, over the top, the, but, whew, bloody, but the other one, I've dressed fully, and uh, that's in the freezer for a future for a future meal. So that's my first pheasant of the season. And I know I'll get a brace and a half, which is three pheasants. Christmas Christmas week probably. Um I like anything like that. Mm. 
And there's many ways to dress a pheasant. I used to, well, you probably know, I've told you before, I used to be a butcher by trade. And then, um, mind you, didn't do many pheasants then. Only for yourself, really, but uh, the odd farm I used to come in and say, Can you dress these for me? And rabbits. Wow, that's hot. Oh, it's a lovely heat. Manageable. As I say, it's a limit with that sauce. When you have a sauce, for me, very extracting, very like a potent heat. Not a chilly, tasty heat. It can it's just a slight thing of overdone it and it can spoil the taste even though you could manage the heat of it. If you know what I mean. But very it's a nice change, lovely curry. Very nice, so I'm glad I tried that. And um, to be fair, very reasonable for what it is, one pound fifty. Worth trying. But on its own, no heat. Have I gone on again? But yeah, I forget the time, it's just talking sh rubbish. Mm. So, um, yeah, so thanks again, Mr. Mully. I'll try them with some chicken and I'll do a test with them other two sauces. See which is hot, I can't remember. I seem to think the Carolina Reaper was a tasty one. I'm sure I thought that was the hotter one too. But anyway, we'll have to try them again together. So I'll leave you to it. Yeah, so thanks for watching. Whatever you have, hope you enjoyed it. Don't make it as hot as this. <laughs> Deal. It can never be too hot, though, can it? Come on, let's be fair. Mm. Bang! Beautiful beef. So you yeah, have a great weekend, safe weekend, big respect for tomorrow, for Sunday, um, Remembrance Sunday, which is officially Monday, um, the 11th of the 11th, and um, yeah, thanks for joining me again on this talking rubbish, sitting here, talking, <laughs> talking rubbish and eating, who'd have thought it'd work, eh? but uh, it does. So many thanks and I'll see you in the next video. It may be tomorrow, it may be in the week, something like that. Or whatever. So all the best, have a great weekend and au revoir, as they say in Denby. Oh, beautiful. Good timing too, just about to run out. See you, take care.